I've just I've been obsessively trying to keep up with with the uh, with the gardening now, and I'm like, Jesus, is that what is that who I am? See, I'm tough because I want to have a beautiful yard, but I don't want dirt under my fingernails or to be outside. So yeah, but we're fortunate in that the people that own the house before us planted a lot of stuff that looks nice with zero effort. Yeah, here's here's like the we nice... have azalea bushes and daylilies and all kinds of shit that you don't got to do fucking anything to, and it'll just come back and look nice. Here's the nice part about weeding, Tara. Yes, you're outside. Yes, there's dirt involved, but and bugs. You are you, the, the whole idea about weeding is you pick a plant. And everything else that isn't that plant, you goddamn murder it. And it's kind of therapeutic. Yeah, but you get dirty and sweaty. I don't like being sweaty. <laughs> so I'm into perennials and daylilies, which are basically a weed, and will spread on their fucking own. Um, and I, this year I want to get a couple of lilac trees to put in the yard because I love the smell of lilacs and they're pretty self-sustaining too, so... But we're lucky that the people before us put in a lot of, like, self-sustaining shit that we don't got to mess with a lot. We need fruit trees. That's what we need. We need fruit trees. I think that would only exacerbate my squirrel issue. Because I'm trying real hard to come to a detente with the squirrels where they won't eat all my bird food. We put, like, corn husk squirrel feeders out. They're still eating the bird food, so I think I have to get something with nuts. I mentioned this a few weeks ago, and the YouTube commenters were nice enough to inform me that squirrels like nuts, and I was like, real. You don't say. <laughs> yeah. So I had a fun day today with the cads. I cleaned up a six-foot-long trail of poop that one of the paraplegics trailed around the lobby because she slipped her diaper because she's a little Houdini. And then another cat sneezed in my face twice. And then a kitten bit me. And I was laughing because I always say, like, God, I don't know why anybody has kids. I can't imagine cleaning up some little person's poop. <laughs> snot all over you and drool. And then here I am at the cat shelter, cleaning up six feet of cat poop, getting a cat sneeze in my face. And I don't even mind. But they're cuter. Yeah, and, and you don't have to send them to college. Yeah, and if a, if a cat runs out and, you know, does something in the real world, they don't get arrested and you don't get held accountable for it. And if cats grow up to be entitled little assholes, nobody judges you because they kind of expect it. Yeah. yeah it's like great. cats are supposed to be entitled little assholes. Yeah. So they don't judge you. They're just like, well, you, as, as Mike would say, ticket closed, cat working as intended. That's, that's what they do. Well, it takes the pressure off. Let's let's we we let's move from cats, which are their own special kind of asshole. Peggy just made herself comfortable in her box, which I don't have next to me right now. Let's let's move on from cats to a different sort of animal asshole. It's time. Let's do it. Each week, I said each week, Catherine, Radio Dead Air audience. Go out in the worldwide interweb, find all sorts of horrible stuff, bring it back here for a little segment we like to call What the Fuck is Wrong with You? And our very first story this week. You know, I can't even be mad at this thing. Because, God bless him, I I wanted him, you want him to succeed. You do. You're right there with him. Every step of the way. Let's get the story up on the screen so everybody can see. Yes! This I love this guy. This wonderful beast. An ice cream cone from the drive Shush. Bear smashes car window, eats two dozen cupcakes inside. New Jersey. New Jersey. I gotta meet this bear. This bear and I should hang out. Channeling Winnie. Okay, now first, author Gene Myers. You're trying too hard. This, this, this opening line. Channeling Winnie the Pooh with his head stuck in a honey pot, a large black bear with an apparent sweet tooth smashed a car window to get the two dozen cupcakes inside. No. No, 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 nope. no, no. 
Winnie the Pooh stuck with the thing on it. No, no. This bear went fucking, you know, all, went Hulkamania on this shit. Don't all bears have a sweet tooth? Isn't that the cliche? Mm -hmm. Nothing was left behind of the chocolate, vanilla, and strawberry cupcakes except for some smeared icing and a paw print. Christine Allen, who owns a bakery, left the cupcakes inside her parked Honda SUV parked in a Rockaway Township on Wednesday night. On Thursday morning, she found a smashed rear window, no cupcakes, a paw print on the back seat, and lots of smeared icing. He ate every single one, she said. <laughs> yes, Bear, yes. Live your best life. Christine Allen said she baked the cupcakes for her shop. Uh, she said she was being industrious and getting ahead of a large order when she lowered her car with cupcakes Wednesday night. Okay, now that is... When, when your customer comes in and says, so where's my cupcakes, huh? Well... Bear ate them. Bear. bear. Bullshit! No, it's a bear. No, look, I have the news clipping. <laughs> it's a fucking bear. Um... Lieutenant Peter Riley of the Rockaway Township Police Department said the bear, quote, looks like it's done some other damage in the area. Now that it's broken into the car, Riley said it raised concerns to, quote, another level. I'm sorry. Uh, it was a bear. And just now this is like a, a new level? Yeah, bears are nothing to fuck with me. I mean, they do. we do have them around here. And they do occasionally wander through yards. And you stay the fuck inside when that happens. Yeah, you just back up you're just like, hi bear, have a nice life. Because they're tanks with claws. Yup. They're nothing to fuck with. And if they want your cupcakes, you give them your cupcakes. I just, that's, that's one of the most, that's just completely surreal. What the hell happened last night? Bear broke into my car and stole my cupcakes. Oh. Okay. Cool. This sounds like it's... They, they categorized them like fucking X-Men mutants. <laughs> a category B bear... Uh, a category three bear is not a threat. A category two means the bear is becoming a nuisance, but it's not a threat to life and property damage is less than $1,000. Category one is reserved for a bear that breaks into a home or does more substantial damage to property. These bears are euthanized. It's what? not their fault. <laughs> if they're breaking We're in into houses. Hab We're in their habitat. Well, if they're breaking into houses, they're going to, that's kind of, uh. but this one's but still it's a cat. It's not their fault. They're just being bears. I love how they, 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 they put like a threshold on property damage. Like it's a, like it's a bear felony or bear misdemeanor. It's like a thousand dollars. Is the bear misdemeanor? But for, if you go for, over that, for a bear con two, chief bear con two. If you go over a thousand dollars, is probably something very different. Yeah, bear con is that's that's a different sort of event. Yes, Grady. Hi, Grady. You yes. cannot play with the bear. I don't think that's a good idea. No. You were just biting me like an hour ago. Now you're back wanting attention. Yeah, but I love you. Yes, shush. Peggy just scratches on the back of my chair. And then I look at her and I go, hi! And I go to pet her and she runs away. And yeah. That's the game we play when I'm at the computer. So, yeah. I... I you stay on the run, bear. You... you I love this. I love this bear, too. Awesome. Live your best life, bear. It's a fucking awesome bear. Oh, okay, Claire Quinn. I like that he left a paw print and I'm telling myself that the paw print was, like, on the window in icing. <laughs> Like a fucking signature. Claire Quinn or says... Like, like Titanic. <laughs> Claire Quinn says, he did the bare minimum damage. <laughs> oh, all right. So, one of the things about mailboxes, just changing threads here, uh, the, the, the mailboxes, the, the postal service, the big blue ones, you, you those are made so you can't just steal things out of them. So, yeah, most people would take the hint. These dudes did not. Police stumble on three men making off with mailbox. Oh. New York police stumbled on a trio of men trying to make off with a mailbox early Friday morning. 
just after 3 a.m. when officers said they noticed three men carrying the mailbox toward a minivan and cramming it into the back of the car. Two of the men fled on foot. One, 30, was arrested on the spot. One of them didn't know enough to run away. Do you see the pictures of the cops posing with it? I know. It's like... This yeah. in Queens. What part of Queens? Doesn't say, does it? This is kind of a Brooklyn Nine Nine moment. The the way they're looking with the with with the mailbox. I, mean, I was gonna ask where the fuck Spider Man was. <laughs> Yonkers I, issued an alert, but Yonkers is nowhere near Queens. <laughs> Th this was clearly written by one of y'all who thinks that all of New York State is Manhattan. Because Yonkers is probably about an hour away from Queens by car. I mean, what did you mail that you needed to get back that bad? <laughs> Do you think this was regret? Like, I mean, you already signed the divorce papers. It's final. You sent in the stool sample. Bro, did you... Did you send that letter to Leslie trying to get her back? Yeah. Bro, what I tell you? I don't know, man. I just want to... Bro, you got to get that letter back, yo. Yeah, this is something like that. This is like a wacky hijinks from a sitcom <laughs> situation. But like, I can't get it, man. Well, we better take the whole box. Trouble is, that's... Fucking with the mail is a federal offense. Federal. Federal offense. Your ass is going to unhappy places. Yeah, like technically opening mail that is not addressed to you is a crime. And it's a federal yeah. crime. You don't fuck with the mail. Yeah, but there's there's a far cry from opening something that sent to you and you didn't realize it because it sent the wrong house. And they're stealing a goddamn mailbox. Yeah. Yeah, you don't they're they're in some shit now, cause you don't get to fuck with the mail. That's why two of them ran and the third guy's like that's Just my hung car. out like what? It was his car. You know it was his car. That's why he didn't run. That was his thought process. He was like, but, it's my car, though. I don't know if it's Queens. It might have been, it took me three days to get this parking space, though. Because <laughs> I have driven around Queens for over a fucking hour looking for a parking space. So... <sighs> Well, we, I'm I'm happy this week. I shouldn't say that, but I'm happy because we're getting a lot of firsts. We have things that Ooh, this is the we first. We've had a lot of reruns lately. Yeah, this is the first time someone stolen a mailbox. This is the first time a bear stole cupcakes out of a car, though they did have the time the bear was driving the car. Yes, this one's we new. Any bear, or was that a boar? That was a boar. Okay, this one is different. It's out of Iowa. I, I can honestly say we have not reported this before. Woman arrested for assault with chicken. Oh. At Waterloo Grocery. Wow. A Waterloo woman has been arrested for allegedly hurling a frozen chicken at a person in a supermarket. That would actually really fuck you up. Desidra Tishwan Harrington, 45 was arrested Tuesday at her home for simple assault, a misdemeanor. She was later released from jail. Police said Harrington was at High V on Logan Avenue around 2 p.m. May 4th when she allegedly became involved in an argument with an employee. Harrington then threw a chicken at the worker who ducked. Didn't they? Who wait. doesn't get paid enough for that shit. Threw a chicken and you ducked. There's a, there's a joke in there. There's a joke in there. Some you throw a you chicken. You get the turkey involved somehow. The okay, Jeff. Uh, Jeff Reddits. She threw a chicken and she ducked and it hit some turkey in the chest. Uh, it's a turkey ducking crime. Yeah, Jeff Reddits. Reddits. Jeff Reddits. You wrote this for the uh, the Iowa Courier. Um, I like it. This next line: the propelled poultry. Flew over the employee's head and smacked a customer in the chest. I feel like we could have taken that alliteration further, actually. If you're going to do alliteration, you got to fucking commit. 
Yeah, because otherwise, just he just looks like he just like don't half-ass that shit. No, no. I just it. Oh, in the breast. Okay, that that's funny. That's funny. Popcorn chicken hit the, in, in the chin. Yeah. Um, that got, that would really hurt though. Frozen chicken. Yeah. Yeah. That thing that's is not okay. That weighs more than my cat, and my cat. Like, I'm sorry, she wouldn't take your coupons. The I guy just the fuck back. I love that she hurled the chicken. The guy ducked, and it still managed to nail somebody. That's like that's some shit you see in a movie, and then that very next thing, someone well, screams and the food fight. Well, nailed another customer who doesn't have to be nice and can fucking sue you. Yeah, yeah. If you broke one of his ribs, which I imagine a flying frozen chicken could. Yeah. Why? I, I have been upset with service people before. Many times. The propelled poultry pummeled his pectoral. See, that's good. There you go. That's good. Yeah. But I have never, it is, I have never been in a store and thought, I'm going to start throwing shit. Yeah. And I'm going to start with this frozen bird. <laughs> that's, that's how they test airplane windshields. <laughs> It is. It is, yeah. Because what brought that plane down on the Hudson that Sully is a big hero for is a fucking goose flew into the engine. A bird will fuck up a plane. So the way that they test airplane windshields is they fucking shoot frozen chicken and geese out of a cannon. I just... I... Why, though? Why would you do this? Because you're an asshole. There's no good. Once you're starting, once you're throwing a frozen fucking chicken, the rest of your day is ruined. Nothing good is going to follow that moment. I mean, you know me. I, I, I'm i like fist raised for the service industry proletariat. Yeah. So fuck this lady. The next one is one of those. This has not happened before either. Wow. And when I saw this headline, all I could think was, did a six-year-old wish really, really hard? Sugar crash. After tanker flips, chocolate, chocolate bars traffic on Polish highway. It's just all puns. It's all puns. Yeah. I saw this. The sight of, tr of uh, traffic stacking up on a weekday, it had to be a familiar one for the commuters and road trippers plying Poland's major A2 highway. But as the minutes whipped by while the car sat still, it had to dawn on them that something was different this time. <laughs> this was no vanilla traffic jam, and they were right. It was a chocolate one. Amazing. A tanker carrying at least a dozen tons of liquid chocolate flipped onto a highway median. The driver survived, emerging with minor injuries, had to be taken for treatment at a hospital. But the tanker's content spilled across multiple lanes on both sides of the roadway, clogging the major artery with sugar. Come on! As someone acquainted with Willy Wonka probably suspected, the dreamlike river of chocolate grew rather complicated rather quickly for first responders. Uh, yeah, it's, it's removing the chocolate will take a couple of hours. The chocolate congeals on the pavement and it's worse than snow. Yeah, I gotta think because it's like viscous. Yeah. And unfortunately, before the motorway was closed, the drivers drove in it for several kilometers. Oh. Because it's not like you can just hose it down. Because it's oil-based, so it's not just going to go away. Yeah, that's going to be a pain in the ass. Oh, just, oh, look, the, 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 they have to get the, the heavy equipment out there to try and, oh, that's just, okay, I suddenly don't want chocolate ever. I'm pretty sad about this. That's, Especially considering chocolate is going extinct. That is nasty. In something like 20 or 30 years, like real chocolate will be incredibly rare and difficult to get if we don't change our ways. That's so like, this is pretty sad. That's a lot of it. It's a lot of chocolate. <laughs> oh my God. 
<laughs> Snugs is like, oompa, loompa, doompa dee doo. <laughs> I've got another problem for you. <laughs> Man. That is the unanswered question. Did a bunch of little orange dudes with green hair come out and give everybody a parable? No, some about little safe driving. Some little kid wished really, really, really fucking hard. This is like one of those monkey's paw wishes, you know? Yeah, where the wish goes wrong. Small Poppy says, "I'm sure it smelled amazing, though. It probably." I did. wish I could have a whole truckload of chocolate. <laughs> you can uh... on the highway. I just it is oh my god I can't even imagine trying to go to like you've driven in this shit have you ever driven through mud before yeah you know how mud gets up and cakes up the inside of I your mean, tire I mean probably wheel? not the kind of mud you're talking about because I'm not from the south and I understand that mud is different there <laughs> It cakes the inside of yeah, your Yeah, I understand your mud is some kind of alien symbiote. Now imagine that, only there's chocolate caked all over the inside of your wheel well, underneath the car. I mean, the good news is a neighborhood bear is going to take care of that. <laughs> He's just going to lick those tires clean for you. Your mechanic is going to just look at you and go, I fucking quit. I quit. No. No. Go away. Well, it's okay. This next one is more familiar territory for us. You know, I will say there is one place you will always be taken seriously if you say the wrong thing. And that's airport. an airport. And it doesn't matter if you happen to be naked. Um. Naked man runs around airport threatening bomb at Daytona Beach. I mean, the good news is he'll be easy to search. <laughs> Volusia County, Florida. A man was taken into custody Friday after he made references to a bomb threat at the Daytona Beach International Airport. Volusia County Sheriff Michael Chipwood said deputies responded to a call about a naked man running around the airport. The man, identified as John T. Greenwood, 25, was on the baggage, car baggage carousel shouting, we've got to get out of here. The bomb unit cleared the terminal. A bomb was not found. So he was naked on the baggage carousel yelling about a bomb? Yes. How did we get here? <laughs> yeah, there, there is a phrase in literature that describes the situation. It's called in media res. Yes. It means you start in the middle. Yes. You don't Popular know. device in comic book movies. Yes. Except in this case. And in the modern day, there's a record scratch. And you'd hear. You might be wondering how I got into this situation. <laughs> and I am. It's, you're up on a baggage carousel. Your dick's out. You're screaming about explosives. And baggage carousels have like those, the way it works. It's like that, I don't know what you call it. You know, like the metal piece, the metal sheets that lay over each other as they go around. Yeah. You don't want to get any party caught in those. I, how, uh, this was how you were planning to spend your weekend. Like, what happened here? I know, this doesn't sound like any kind of fun. No, you are pledging officially the worst friend. And you know, if we're talking the TSA, those assholes are dying for something to do. Yeah. Something more interesting than going through people's underwear all day. Like, because no, that's a thankless job. Nobody likes them. The minute this happened, there was like one guy at the end of the CS, naked guy! What? <laughs> Frank said naked guy. Oh shit, let's go! And the lights it's go like a on. Fight in high school. What? It's like a fight in high school. Yeah. <laughs> 
Naked dude! Last one there has to tackle him! Not it, not it! Fuck! Wouldn't the first one there want to tackle him? No. I mean, that's a bad look on YouTube. A bunch of TSA agents standing around a naked guy yelling about a bomb doing fuck all. That's a bad look. Oh, just that you couldn't pay me to say that word in airport. You could not. You I will. You call your maternal unit mother. Right. Her. Just because you don't you, call her mom. You do not want to give anyone a reason. Mm -mm. <sighs> well, if, we... you're into, if, you, if you're going to the BDSM connect collect convention, you're traveling with your daddy, not your dom. <laughs> A little bit of a stretch. Especially since there's shit in your baggage that could be weapons. A little just... bit of a just stretching. You're a little stretching. Oh, last one is from Florida. And by God, it is in fact an honest to God fucking Florida story. Is this the one I just sent you? No. Not the oh. one with not that one. This this one is. <sighs> yeah, it's Florida. It's this this is if you it, it just the you wouldn't even have to know where the story was you you'd say did this happen in Florida? Zombies made him do it, says kill man accused of ramming cars at Walmart. Oh, okay. Gulfport. Oh no, wait, is this Louisiana? Gulfport, Louisiana. Yeah, that be Louisiana, close to Walmart, uh, close to Florida. Panhandle. Florida adjacent. Panhandle. I'm gonna call this one Panhandle. <laughs> the, pan, the if in case you guys don't know uh, the florida panhandle is a very very special place and by special we mean oh god oh god banjos are coming um man accused of stealing a john deere front end loader then using it to ram trailers and vehicles in a walmart parking lot told police quote he thought it was the end of the world and zombies were chasing him Sean Michael Straub, 32, of Kiln, waived a preliminary hearing in Justice Court, remains on $550,000 bond. Grand jury to decide whether he should be indicted and tried on one of one charge of grand larceny and two charges each of felony mischief, malicious mischief and aggravated assault. Straub is accused of stealing the front-end loader. Uh, police said that he drove it the short distance to Walmart on US-49, where mayhem ensued. Stroud is accused of hitting two occupied vehicles, several utility trailers, and three unoccupied vehicles. Zombies don't drive! So you thought you were being chased by zombies? Yes. And the thing you thought you should do mm -hmm. was steal the slowest vehicle you could find and then get yourself trapped in a parking lot. Mm-hmm. Oh, it gets You're bad at this. It gets You're better. really bad at this. You're going to die. It gets better. Gulfport police say they had to put down a spike strip to stop Shroud in the nearby parking lot of a Nissan dealership after he fled in the front end loader. So you went to a second parking lot. If the zombies really come, you're getting eaten. <laughs> Parking lots are not good places to escape zombies. No, they're probably full of them. Yes. You're bad at this. And you're in a really slow moving vehicle, possibly without doors. My dad's excavator didn't have fucking doors. And they, they're not made for driving places. They, they 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 believe, of course, alcohol or drugs may have been involved. Yeah, you think? You think? That is not what. That's not the fun drugs. That is not the fun drugs. People's definition of the fun drugs has changed over the years. <laughs> yeah, this doesn't sound. I mean, like I haven't done really any of the fun drugs so i don't know from experience but 
If I'm, it makes you think you're being chased by zombies, it doesn't sound fun. I've done the drinkings. I've done the painkillers. Ever they did stuff with my teeth? They give you a whole bottle of those and you can keep them. Yeah, that's why we have an opioid crisis. <laughs> I know. I know. But no, I, I've i never, never said, you know what? I really want to spend my weekend believing the living dead are after me. That's I want to cook up some shit that might explode and kill me before it's even done. And then smoke it until my teeth fall out and I rip my own skin off. And then run from imaginary zombies. That sounds great. That's a good, yeah, that, yeah, that sounds like a great weekend, doesn't it? Yeah. Take some time Point off work. Proof, please. What did he take? We don't know. We don't know what he took. Yeah, I I was using the example of math, but who fucking knows? No, fu the, the, just the normal, the, the regular. For all we know, he, sm he fucking snorted Smarties. <laughs> <clears throat> I, 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 and this is not like, you don't do a drug like this the first time and this happens. No. At least I hope not. You know, if I would, <laughs> if I was ever in a situation where I was doing a strange drug, the first time, I'd want to have people around me, who I trusted to keep me safe. You know, they used to back do that. In, back back in the day, apparently acid was Dan's drug of choice. I don't know if I should tell you this, <laughs> but he's not here. <laughs> and he did say he hallucinated a dragon once. Right. And he was really fucking sure that there was a dragon. But I don't think that was the first time. Yeah, what are those? Th what are the things you do? If th They used to do that when you were taking acid. They used to make sure there was somebody nearby. There's like Sober Sister. Yeah. Who's there to turn you on your side if you start to vomit. Yeah, talk your ass down if you think zombies are coming. And tell you that dragon, there's not a dragon there. And zombies are not chasing you. And don't call your ex. <laughs> well, that's just a universal. Yeah, no matter what you're on. Yeah, you that's need somebody there to be like, don't, no, no. Shit, you're so cold. You're stone cold sober. Don't call your ex. Come on. Yeah. yeah. Uh Nothing good lies that way. Yeah, you you don't you don't. You don't. <laughs> Whatever he took, don't take it. He tried it. What? This, the front loader is like this. This will help me escape the zombies. It won't though. It won't. They only. They don't go that fast. I think the first thing we found out is that drugs will, if there was a zombie apocalypse, just destroys your survival instincts. Yeah. Entirely. You're, you're going to die. Um, we've learned that they, you can be, you, nowhere else in the world is a naked person taken seriously, except at an airport, because if you say bomb, they'll treat you just the same as if you're wearing clothes. I mean, probably also at a strip club, because that's <laughs> your job. Okay, a strip club and an airport. Only two places. Only it's a strip club and an airport. We've learned, kids, be careful what you wish for or else mom will be complaining about fucking nougat in her transmission. <laughs> Just don't wish on the coin with the weird Babylonian symbol on it. Nothing good comes of that. Also, nothing good comes from hurling a chicken. No... Unless you're testing an airplane windshield. But otherwise, no. And if you're not an airplane engineer, you don't get to hurl chickens. <laughs> I think that's words to live by. There's some guy on a farm somewhere going, oh, shit. Damn it. That was the one perk. The one perk. <laughs> We've learned if you if you send something in the mail you didn't intend to send, brother, let it go. 
You're just going to have to deal with the consequences. Because federal prison will probably be worse than whatever consequences are in that letter. And finally... Unless it was anthrax. And finally, we've learned there's a bear out there tonight who's a hero to us all. Cupcake bear, you, 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 we salute you. Well done. Cupcake. You've set an example for all of us. I want a, I want a cupcake bear comic book now. <laughs> <laughs> I want, I, I want, I want, I, want, I love that bear. I love him. By God. You need a comic book with Cupcake Bear and Hemingway Boar. Oh, so shit. You have the, the, the friendly bear with the sweet tooth. Oh, and shit. And the angry boar with the drinking problem. Oh, and shit. And together they fight crime. God, we're giving away gold here, Tara. I know. We're giving away gold. 